Hey guys, my name is John Edwards. I'm a Raymond graduate. I went to Raymond Bible Training Center in 96 through 98. And I was ordained by Kenneth Hagen and came to Alabama, started a church called The Edge, and then we changed our name to Hillside Church. And uh, about uh, January 2008, I decided to leave the Word of Faith movement. And uh, what I want to do is put out a series of these YouTubes. I want to help people out there that are trapped in the Word of Faith. Word of Faith is a dangerous, cultic movement. And it's so similar to the New Age message that it's, it, it's, it's just right there beside it, and, and, and it sucks you in. And the Word of Faith, what attracted me to it was that I thought I could have a say in my life. I'd always had a fear of maybe losing my kids or getting cancer or, or going bankrupt, and uh, I heard the Word of Faith message as presented by Kenneth Hagin, and it gave me hope that I could have a say in my life. And the dangerous thing about Word of Faith is that it puts the believer in the driver's seat, and it puts God and His will and His plan for your life in the back seat. The whole Word of Faith movement is based on one passage of Scripture in Mark chapter 11 and verse 23 that Jesus said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, thou shalt believe that those things that he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Now what they did is uh, Jesus was a a uh, Jewish rabbi, and uh, he spoke in Aramaic, and a real popular teaching idiom back then in that culture uh, was the phrase moving a mountain. It, it meant to cut through red tape. It meant to, uh, to, 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 do, to do the impossible with God. And what Jesus was using was a hyperbole in his teaching. It was an old purpose exaggeration. Uh, for instance, you know where Jesus said, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. And uh, he talks about hating your mother and your father compared to loving him. He don't really want you to hate your mom and dad and pull your eyeballs out. He's just using an exaggeration to prove a point on purpose. He's trying to show you how powerful faith is. Well, when Jesus was talking to his disciples and said, If you'll say to the mountain, move, and it will move if you believe and doubt not, his disciples had sense enough to know he was using an exaggeration to show them the power of faith. Now, what the faith preachers did... Uh, namely, Brother Kenneth Hagin, whom I love. I went to his school. I'm not mad at him, but he was wrong. What they did is they made a science of every little word that Jesus said in a hyperbole. They made a science on it. And what the Word of Faith does is it teaches you that you can have what you say. They take that last phrase that Jesus said, He shall have whatsoever He saith, and made a whole religion of how to get everything you need from God. And the dangerous thing about it is that it puts fear in the believer. Word of faith people are the most legalistic, paranoid, superstitious, in bondage people I have ever known in my life. And you know what? I'm part of the problem. I preached the heresy for eight years. I taught people they could have what they say, and that's not even what Jesus said. At the most, what Jesus said is you'll have what you say to the mountain. But word of faith preachers, and Word of Faith Christians actually believe that whatever comes out of your mouth is going to happen. For instance, they believe if you say, oh, my back's killing me, they believe you're going to develop cancer of the spine or something. Or if you say, oh, man, my head's killing me, they'll think that you're going to get a brain tumor. They believe that your words are creative entities in themselves, and they're not. Your words are powerful. I can cuss you out with my words and make you mad. I can tell jokes and make you laugh. I can build you up or, or I can cut you down. But I cannot create things with my words as is taught by the word of faith. So the new age message, the humanism message is that God is that man is God. That we all together as man, we are God. We can do anything. We have our own wisdom and our own light. The word of faith message is very, very similar. It, it tricks you into thinking you're in control of your life and you're in control of your destiny. I know it because I've taught that for many years. And it's a cult. It was founded on cultic principles. E.W. Kenyon was a Baptist preacher that was very involved in New Age, New Thought, and metaphysics. He went to a school in Boston that was covered up with New Age and New Thought. If you've heard about the New book called The Secret. 
if you've ever watched that. It's New Age, it's humanism, it's garbage. It's a, it's a counterfeit Christianity. It's a counterfeit faith. Okay? And E.W. Kenyon took the principles from the New Age, the New Thought, the secret, metaphysics, and, and he blended it in with the Bible to make another gospel, the gospel of me, the gospel of my words. And the word of faith was then picked up by Kenneth Hagin, who took Kenyon's writings and expounded on them. And, and the dangerous thing about the word of faith is it, it, it's all centered on the power of your words, being the prophet of your own life, you as a human being in control of your destiny. It also is a very, very materialistic, money-minded movement. You can't go to any Word of Faith preacher on TV or any Word of Faith church. They can't preach 10 minutes without talking about money. They're obsessed with money. They're obsessed with wealth. They're obsessed with cars and rings and big churches and TVs and, and, and helicopters and jets. It's a dangerous movement, folks. There's a lot of deception there. The word of faith, as is taught by the faith preachers today, Kenneth Hagin, Michael Murdoch, think people like that like I did. I'm John Edwards. I know you never heard of me, but I've taught it long. It, it's not the New Covenant. It's not the New Testament. It is a delusion. It is a lie. It is a twisting of scriptures. It's designed to get your heart and your mind off of Jesus, off of the kingdom of God, and on your bank account, and on to the, your words. And it produces fear, bondage, and legalism. It's counterfeit. It's not New Testament. The New Testament is about God loving you and your sins, and sending Jesus, His Son, to die for you, so that you can believe Him and be born again, to have all your sins forgiven, removed, forgotten, so that you can have a personal Father, Son, Father, God, relationship with Almighty God to help you through life, to give you the peace you need, to help you with your problems. And it's about having eternal life, that when you die, you go to live with God, the Father, and Jesus in heaven forever. That is the good news. That is the gospel. But the faith preachers, the word of faith, have turned it around into a self-help gospel of me. And what I want you to do is get your New Testament. Go somewhere to a Christian bookstore and buy the New Testament on CD and listen to it. Just listen to the Word of God. It's a new covenant. It's not a covenant of prosperity, health, and wealth. It's a covenant of dying to yourself, to love others, to serve others. It's a gospel of spreading God's love to everyone. Where you put others, you love your neighbor as yourself. You put God first. You put Jesus first. You're crucified or war, the war is crucified towards you. You do have a God that will meet your needs. You do have a God that will heal your body. But Him meeting your needs and Him healing your body, that's just a small part of the big truth of your redemption. The word of faith is like putting a frog in a pot of water and you turn the heat up. You start boiling the water and he's swimming around and kicking around. He don't know anything's wrong. Then before he knows it, he's cooked. That's what happened to me. I started out wanting to get faith. Why? So I could love God more? No. So I could be in control of my life. Look, I learned I don't want to be in control of my life. I want Jesus in, in charge of my life. So please come back. Look at some more of these later. God bless you. I'm John Edwards. Bye-bye.